Mostly it is unvaccinated people still getting sick. The problem is they're getting sicker. We do know that people tend to have a little bit different symptoms. Um, there's not so much of the loss of smell. We do see a little bit more loss of hearing. Um, there's also a little bit more upper respiratory symptoms, being runny nose, sneezing, more gastrointestinal and GI complaints, uh, along with blood, severe blood clots. I think the most concerning thing about this variant is that it infects people with a really high viral load. And so when they do get infected, the viral load that they're carrying is a just magnitude fold higher than the prior variants. And so what does that mean? It means that they're much more contagious. Before, you know, we thought when you pass someone in the street and they were infected, you're probably not gonna get the virus. That's such a transitory pass. But this is one that the viral load is so high that having even those uh, intermittent encounters with someone with um, who's infected could, could get you infected. We do have millions of people who have been now vaccinated in the United States. So it is more than likely if there's 1% of breakthrough cases that you're gonna know somebody who gets a breakthrough case. And so it is gonna be something that gets more and more common as more people get vaccinated. It's a numbers game, but again, it's very uncommon. The thing that's different with Delta variant when we look at breakthrough cases is that more people that have breakthrough cases are symptomatic. And when they are symptomatic, they tend to feel really pretty severe symptoms. Not enough to go to the hospital or, or to die. The death and hospitalizations are still protected with the vaccine, but they do get really sick. And so no one wants to get really sick. People are missing work. They're down for a number of days. Um, and then again, they have the propensity to spread that to other people. What we see with the mRNA vaccines is so far when we look at death and hospitalization, the effectiveness is exactly the same, 98 to 97% against this, the Delta variant. Where we see a little less effectiveness is in the symptomatic um, cases that aren't severe. We see that that goes down to about 80% opposed to the 90 to 95 we were seeing before. We haven't done the experiment where we have put children in school or in um, settings with a lot of other people and with high circulating um, virus. So we don't really know fully the effect of any of these variants um, on our, our younger population. We have been protecting them. The sooner we can get them protected um, with a vaccine, the better. We have two tools we know that work, and the first one you can do immediately, and that's masks. Uh, obviously, masks we know protect people. We, they protect them not only from getting sick themselves, but from spreading it to other people, particularly young people now who haven't had a chance to get vaccinated. Maybe older people that the vaccine didn't give them full protection because of their immune system's not as strong. So we really need to protect those vulnerable populations. That's immediate. Masking in public indoor spaces, masking in crowded outdoor spaces, the other thing is if you haven't got vaccinated, that's our second tool. And it's amazing how much protection that's affording us. I do think eventually we are going to find our way out of this. We're just not there yet.